Melbourne bus has been plastered with signs demanding Victorian Premier Daniel Andrews be sacked has hit the road. The large coach was spotted driving today past Victorian Parliament House on Spring Street where Premier Andrews holds his lengthy daily press conferences. The protest bus, which is branded Let Us Out on one side and Let Us Work on the other, is visiting Labor MPs across the lockdown Melbourne. Melbourne, which has averaged 10 infections over the past 14 days, still finds itself in a three and a half month lockdown while Sydney remains open in a COVID normal. Independent journalist Monica Smith has been actively opposing the lockdown through a Facebook page called Reignite Democracy Australia. Way, <laughs> bus, haha, <laughs> yes. Oh wow, this God. is like the best thing ever. Oh, look at that picture, look at that picture. Outside Parliament House, yes. <laughs> wow. Woo, that's our ride. Oh, look at this bloke. <laughs> right outside Parliament House. That is our ride today, my friends. Yes. Don't throw us under the bus like the omnibus. Watch out for the bus today, guys. Victorian residents aren't the only ones calling for an end to the lockdown. Treasurer Josh Frydenberg slammed Victoria's coronavirus restrictions and urged Premier Daniel Andrews to lift measures as the economic and mental health fallout continues to devastate residents in the lockdown. I think people are fed up and I think people uh, want to hear about the lifting of the restrictions, of course in a COVID safe way, but they shouldn't be kept str being strung along like they have been. I think it's time that Daniel Andrews really got on with it, lifted the restrictions and allowed Victorians to get back to a COVID safe, normal life. After Premier Andrews yesterday acknowledged that the state may have to open up and just manage the virus, Liberal MP Tim Smith says the lockdown has always been a political move. We've said for months, this is all about politics for this man. It's all about spin. It's all about the media. It's not about the people of Victoria. A mental health crisis, thousands of jobs lost, thousands of businesses destroyed, 791 souls dead because of his incompetence. It's about his own job. And an advisor to the World Health Organization has spoken out against the government's using lockdowns as a method of controlling the coronavirus pandemic. Victoria's Chief Health Officer Brett Sutton today very confident the lockdowns are working and will continue to. We followed a strategy that is not using lockdown interminably. Uh, we are using uh, the restrictions that are in place now to drive the case numbers down so that we can get to the very thing that WHO is talking about. Not having restrictions in place in the long term uh, because you can control uh, at a sustainable level. Either, as is the National Cabinet decision and the National Strategy, no community transmission, zero cases of community transmission, that's nationally agreed, or uh, if we can't get there at a level of a, of, um, a few cases per day uh, that is sustainable uh, in terms of follow-up and management of the outbreaks and the, and the uh, contacts that we need to follow if that's the case.